Good evening and welcome back to the channel. So I have to do a video on this just because there's so much insanity going on on crypto YouTube right now. So Solana had network issues today or is still currently having network issues. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. I don't hold Solana. I've said on a number of different occasions, I would buy Solana if it was on the applications that I use, right? So I, I want you to think about something. Really think about this. Let's say that we could rewind back to the beginning of big tech. Now, at some point in time, they have had network issues, right? It just, it's just a, it happens, right? These are lots of people coming on these platforms and using them. At times, there will be network issues. So let's say that we could rewind, we could jump in a time machine and go back to whenever they were having those network issues. Now, just imagine people, talking heads getting on and saying they're having network issues. Everybody sell, sell, sell your Google, sell, sell, sell Facebook, sell it now. Get out, we gotta jump ship. Imagine being able to go back in time and to hear somebody say that. And you would look back and say, that was the stupidest, stupidest thing. And what a complete idiot, right? Now, I'm not saying you should do one way or the other if you hold Solana, right? I, I would. I just brush it off. I wouldn't really care, to be honest with you. I mean, when you're talking about migrating from one internet to another internet, there are going to be network issues, period. This is not going to go through without a hiccup. There might be some that don't really have any issues at all, and there might be some that have a number of issues in the early stages. That being said, there will be issues with some of these blockchains. It's just going to happen, right? So I really want you to think about it like that. Imagine being able to go back in time and invest in Google and Facebook. Now, think about, because one day they had network issues. We got to get out. We got to sell everything. So just imagine that. So I, I really need to put this in context. I mean, I, I don't know everything. And on, and on technical levels, I have limited understanding. But I do work for one of the largest tech companies in this country that probably 20% of y'all use. And that we have the overwhelming market share. Five, five times bigger than our second uh, closest competitor. So, you know, hearing that something has network issues, while that's not great news, it's also not, does not mean that they're about to, uh, the Titanic is sinking. So when you look at, you should do your research on Mark Andreessen. You should do your research on Mark Andreessen and look at the different names that are associated with him. Because Solana is on their portfolio, on Andreessen Horowitz's portfolio. So you should just do some research on that. Right? When the venture capital funds start selling all their Solana, then it probably is time for you to get out. Or when that's even a possibility, that would probably be a good time, even though this is not financial advice. But I really, and think about the timing of all this. Solana has skyrocketed up over the last six, eight weeks, whatever it may be. And now, while right before we're probably going to start the next leg up, I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow with Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market. Right before that, there's network issues and retail is panicking and selling. I'm not saying all of retail, or I'm sure some people are out there diamond handing. Good for them. But there's a lot of prominent channels that are essentially just saying, so you gotta get out, you gotta go, jump ship. So just think about that. Think about being able to go back in time and be able to invest in Google or Facebook. Now imagine that one day they have network issues and you panic sell. And it consolidates, you're expecting it to just completely go to zero and then it does a thousand X over the next five to 10 years. So just want to put that in perspective. I don't hold Solana. I have no dog in the fight here. To be honest, with you, I really don't. I mean, I, I'm in Solana's competitors, right? I'm into Ethereum. I'm into Algorand. I'm into Cardano. I'm, I'm, into, I'm into Polygon. But I, I also don't like seeing people make, make hasty decisions or knee-jerk decisions on something of this magnitude, because this is the new internet. Old internet, people are going to be coming over to the new internet. And during that migration, 
during that process, there will at times be network issues, period. It's going to happen. For some, maybe not. For, for some particular blockchains or you know DLTs that have very limited functionality and they don't have a ton of applications built on top of them, maybe not. Because again, they have a, a, a simpler use case. But there will be, at times, network issues. And so just keep that in mind. That's all I have for this video, not financial advice, but I, I, I had to put some type of, you know, I had to add some like voice of reason or something. Cause this is just, I mean, every video I was watching, it was just, you know, it, it, people were freaking out. And then I saw, I saw, I saw him go into, uh, go into the technical analysis, go into the technical analysis. So I was like, wow, we got this here and this, and, and then they're having these other issues. So it's time to sell. And these are bigger channels, tens of thousands, over a hundred thousand subscribers. You really, you really have to step back. You really have to step back and, you know, you just have to understand that everything that happens from here on out will be an attempt to get you to sell your crypto. Now, some cryptos and, and certain blockchains you maybe should sell if they're crap and they're not going to do anything. But, you know, everything will be an attempt to get you to sell, period. All the narratives, all the stories, everything will be in an attempt to get you to sell. So, you know, if Ethereum gets hacked right now and drops by 50%, I'm buying the dip. No questions asked, right? And, and, and praying, praying that, and I'm not even religious, praying that it stays down until I get paid so I can load up even more. So, but I might be crazy, right? I might be, I might be in, in just completely crazy. I think everybody that sold their Solana today will regret it in two years, 100%. So maybe wrong about that. So we'll see. That's all I got for this video. Thank you everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.